it's Ellie and welcome to today's YouTube video and today I'm going to be talking to you a little tiny bit about the manuscript that I am writing for the agent. So when I say little tiny video, I mean super, super small video. And that's because I am going into this manuscript with the intent of publishing, so I don't want to put too much information out there, especially if it does get published, because I don't want somebody to be able to click on a five minute video and have the entire story without having to buy the book. So that's kind of why I want to keep it a little bit more vague. But today I'm not actually going to be talking to you about the story. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the writing process. So I have a friend named Nick and he's super cool and I was talking with him the other day because I wanted to play video games with him and he wanted to play with me and I said, well, I can play with you later but I have to finish writing my manuscript first. And he said, I really wished that I had the perseverance and the discipline was the word that he used to write the way that you do. And that kind of stuck with me because I realized that what I see as something so insignificant is actually incredibly difficult for other people to do. I can sit down and write 1500 words in half an hour, and some people think that that's absolutely just mind-blowing, and other people can do it as well, but it's really easy to forget when it's something that comes so naturally to you that not everybody has the ability to sit down, focus for half an hour, and just write. And that's what I've been doing for this manuscript, is I have given myself a deadline, so I'm hoping to finish my manuscript by the 30th of June. I will finish my manuscript by the 30th of June. My word count goal is about 80,000 words, and I'm currently at 25,000, I think? Maybe it's between 20 and 25,000 words, so I'm like a quarter of the way done. And I just wanted to point out to you guys, if you're writing, that Honestly, the only way to be disciplined in writing is to force yourself to be disciplined in writing. I don't usually write every day. I typically have never written every day except for in November, and that's one month out of the year. Not really that impressive. And I'm taking on something that's going to take two months or a month and a half, and then hopefully revisions and editing past then. But you can never get to that step if you don't first just say, Hello self, we're going to sit down, we're going to write X amount of words a day, or I'm going to write for X amount of time a day, and just do it. There have been days when I have wanted not to do it already, about one or two, but I have done it anyways because this is how you become a writer. You can't be an author without participating actively in your craft. You can't call yourself an author necessarily if you never write. You can be the world's best author, but if you don't sit down and write down the amazing ideas in your head, you're not really using your talent at all. So it's incredibly difficult for a lot of people to just sit down and write as many words as I do or write as much as I do in the amount of time that I do, but that's the first and only step that I can really tell you guys is the most vital. It's just like walking. If you choose not to move your legs, you're not going to go anywhere. If you choose not to write, you're not going to go anywhere. So that was my little ranty, rambly kind of video today about perseverance and or discipline when it comes to writing. I'm actually going to edit this video and then go do that writing. So I will see you guys next time. And until then, peace out, guys, and happy writing.